Yeah, this is probably quite a big space considering I've just been covered in an avalanche. If you were actually in this situation and you didn't know how much snow was on top of you and you didn't know if those dogs were going to come and get you, you can imagine that is one of your worst nightmares. In an avalanche, I've got the weight of snow on me. You definitely get the feeling of panic setting in. I think that's what would probably keep most people going in this situation is the hope that the snow is going to rumble and there's going to be a, some paws digging through that hole. start to think actually what would this be like you know and you can imagine very quickly panic fear if you have a live person that's just below the snow a dog can get to them very quickly by the time the probe team comes this person may be dead it's human spirit to hope and in a disaster situation that's all really you've got you have to just rely on the fact that there are people up there and those dogs that will do everything that they possibly can. A dog probably can clear a, a small avalanche probably in uh, 20 minutes to half an hour. I don't ever want to get caught in an avalanche, but if I ever out skiing and I do get caught, I hope there's a dog somewhere very close. <laughs> it makes you feel very lucky that there are people and dogs like this doing that. You know, it's amazing. <laughs>